So, ChatGPT have just released their new agent feature and the internet has gone crazy because the results are just insane. Right now, every agent task is initiated by the user, but in future, it should also be doing things for you without you having to even ask in the first place. Now, this new ChatGPT agent isn't just smarter than the other models like O4. It's also going to perform tasks for you as the agent. So imagine as a dropshipper or an e-commerce brand owner, instead of you having to make image ads yourself, you're going to get the agent to do it for you. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you live me using this new agent in live case scenarios, making me images, making me an action plan. And just to give you a heads up, the results are actually insane. Now, before we get into this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button because once we hit 500 likes, I'm gonna give you all the prompts that I'm using at the moment for the agent to pretty much automate my dropshipping stores right now. So guys, before I get into showing you the live scenarios of me using the new agent for dropshipping, I need to explain what the old versions were so you understand the key differences. So here's an example of an LLM, guys. Users prompt, what is the capital of India? Then the large language model goes and says the capital of India is New Delhi as the output response. Now, this is how the AI agent works versus the LLM. So what you do is you give the prompt to the agent and what it does is it has access to all of these different tools so it can go out there and search the web. It can use Python. It can scrape data. It's got access to loads of APIs and it can run a virtual machine that can then go off and do the tasks. Then it also has LLM capabilities for reasoning and it also has context memory to make sure that it's smart as it's doing those tasks. And then once it's conducted that research in live time by running its own virtual machine, using all of these tools, LLM and context memory, then it will then respond to the user with the output results. Now, this is where the fun begins, guys. I've just loaded up the chat GPT and I've got the agent mode turned on. Now, I believe at this moment of recording, it's only available for the plus plans for $200 a month and it will soon be available for the $20 plans. I don't think this will ever be free, guys, because it does costs a lot of money for them to use it. Now, how you get access to it is you go to where it says tools and you go to agent mode. Now, for me, I've got up to 400 queries and you can see here the agent mode has now been activated. Now, it gives you some suggestions, reports, action spreadsheets and presentations. Now, I don't need to mess with any of that because I'm going to use my own custom prompts that you guys are going to get access to once we hit 500 likes. Now, the first prompt that I've given it is the context. You are the creative arm for my dropshipping store that's about to launch, which is the heated vest. So I've given it the link to the product which is a heated vest. Now, this is the link that I gave it, which is my dropshipping product, which is the heated vest. So it's got that as context. You can see it says, I'm selling this to the US and EU market. The brand and tone should be fun, premium, eco-friendly. Pick one customer persona and describe it in 25 words. Produce a complete set of static assets, images, copy, optimized for Meta, TikTok, Spark ads, and everything else. Then I gave it a task of list for the agent to do. Now for the agent to work well, guys, you do need to give it prompts like this or it isn't gonna give you the results you want. It doesn't mean because the agent's super smart and it can do the work, you should be stupid and give it bad prompts. So this type of prompt style will give you the results that you want. And you can see now it says at the bottom, setting up my desktop. Like I said to you guys prior, they now run their own virtual machine in live time. Now, what it's done is it's clarified and told me exactly what it needs to do. And as soon as I'm happy with it, I can click continue, then it will start proceeding. So guys, check this out. This new window will appear within inside the chat. And you can see now it's running terminal. It's basically creating the task within terminal about how it's gonna create different type of images based on the information that I gave it. And if you look closely, you can see everything like color palette, primary object, problem versus solution images. So you can read this, it's just terminal, it's code and text. So you can basically see what it's about to do. And you can see above the window, it says generating images for variations for prompt one. So it understands it's created prompt one and it's gonna create the variations for prompt one. You can see here now, guys, it's visiting that website that I gave it and it's basically going through the whole website to look at the text and the images that already exist to help it then create the images 
for my own brand. Now, the good thing with this is you've actually got a live little timeline so you can skip it from start to end just in case you've missed anything that you wanna watch again. And on the top here, you've got these three dots where you can look at the activity of all the stuff it's done. So it basically gives you an easy user interface if you don't like the terminal one where you can read everything that it's doing right now just so you can keep track of it and be happy with what it's currently doing. So if you watch this and you're like, you know what, it's made a mistake, you can quickly correct it before it carries on but usually you don't need to if you've prompted it correctly now another feature is takeover browsers so if it's visiting a website and it's got stuck on a capture form or you're trying to get it to log into somewhere you can manually take over the computer and input those details as you guys can see this is running and it does take a while for it to do the job it's going to take around about 25 minutes so i'll catch up with you once it's done the task after around about 20 minutes, guys, it's done the task and you can see here it says I've developed a full creative kit for the heated vest launch focusing on fun, premium and eco-friendly tones. It's gone over exactly what it is done for me, going over everything that I gave it originally and then it's finished off by giving me the creative asset zip file. So if I click this now, it's going to give me the assets that it's created for me. So yeah, looking at the end of the file name with these numbers, it's just basically going over the size for the platform. So this is TikTok meta in different sizes. So let's have a look at the meta images it's made and look at that guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 different images were made and I've not even opened these up yet and they look insane. So let's hover over all of these and click it. And just like that, guys, we've got our images and they look absolutely amazing. Check this one out. Warmth anywhere, stay cozy on every adventure with the sleek heated vest shot now. Then we've got another shot of a different model wearing it. And we've got a shot of it on a hanger targeted nine zone heat. This looks insane as well. Then we've got another image of it, which is more of like a cartoony drawn. We've got the before and after photo. This one kind of messed up a little bit at the top, as you guys can see. But apart from that, it's still really good. We can crop that section out manually on Canva. Then we've got another image again, which is beat the cold. And we've got another image here of a testimonial. Some of it's been messed up like at the bottom, but overall this is also amazing and can be easily fixed within Canva. Another image of before and after. This one's really, really good. And then they've got like a comedy style image as well. So those images are really, really good. For me to manually make these images myself, it would take me at least a few hours. So that is crazy. So now let me open up the TikTok folder. So these are designed for Spark ads or video ads. We can turn this into like a video carousel and you can see the images have been adjusted for this right style. Now, some of the images have gone wrong here, like the before and afters, but overall, most of these can be used and they are very, very good. Now, this is the raw folder, which is without all the text on top. So this is just good for like, let's say Shopify imagery instead of having the text on there. Again, another nice image for Shopify, another nice image. This one does have the text, but not at the bottom. This one's also really, really good. So yeah, with them being raw like this, they actually work. There's no issues. So like, instead of me having to remake this on Canva now, looking at the raw folder is perfectly fine. They just need to be slightly resized and they're really good. So yeah, the raw folder is definitely fixing all the issues that I saw on the other folders. So guys, that was the first task the agent done. So let me know in the comment section below if you thought that was crazy. Now let's move on to the next task, which is you're a solo growth engine for brand new drop shipping store. Time is scarce, 24 hour budget is tight as well, but you have an unlimited analytics horsepower and creativity. The goal is to prove profitability potential by generating one clear data backed go no recommendation for launching a product plus a turnkey launch kit that could be executed tomorrow. So I'm basically giving the agent a task to do within 24 hours to help me find a winning product. Now, after around about 15 minutes, it's delivered on the task that I just gave it. And you can see here niche and demand here. So exploding topic report searches for post bases have grown 292%. Then it goes over buying intent and CPC range. Then it goes over the product short list and scores. So it goes over like five or six different products and it goes over all of the different things that are important like gross margins, competitor count and wow factor. So this is pretty impressive so far. Then it goes over unit economics model. So it goes over how much money that I could potentially make if 
I get just 30 orders. Then it goes over the creative ad strategy. Then it goes over the launch day checklist, product upload, payment gateways, making sure I've done all of these legal stuff. And then it goes over launching some Facebook ads. So it even tells me how to launch my Facebook ads. I'm not gonna lie guys, that's a pretty solid one day action plan that it's given me. So guys, those were two different tasks that I gave it. Number one, help me with a one day dropshipping launch on a budget looking to make money. And it went out there and did all the hard work for me using all the tools the agent has and compiled it into a really nice action plan. The second one was actually to go out there and create images for me for my store and for my ads and it absolutely crushed that task. Now you can use the agent to do loads of other tasks that will be featured in my prompt cheat sheet once we hit 500 likes, like creating you a full Shopify store copywriting, so creating all the different sections for copywriting, creating all the different page layouts. So you can do so much cool stuff with this agent. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it can't do absolutely everything, but it can start to do some insane things and save you hours and hours of time per day. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you thought the new ChatGPT agent is a game changer and if you're going to use it. With that being said, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.